really good in a very ironic way. Um, I really like the premise of this man. Basically, he has he's basically on what could have been his deathbed. And even while on his deathbed, he has so much hatred in his heart for Indians, as we know to be just Native Americans. But having all this hate in his heart, calling them wretched when honestly he and what his people have done is... Um, who the real wretched people are. And I liked how there was kind of the antithesis, the antithesis of this other man who like has saved his life and is trying to get him to see the other perspective, but he's just kind of set in his ways. I thought that was very interesting to see. And I actually really, really enjoyed that. Um, especially the line where he's like, perhaps they were seeking vengeance because, you know, when you're attacked, you want to defend yourself, especially against something that is rightfully yours. So him just having to point that out and the first guy not even be able to like understand that was definitely heart wrenching and obviously very um, accurate to those times. Um, I also really like the cinematography and I really like just like the scenery of it all. Um, I thought it was really beautiful. I thought um, lighting wise, especially on the scenes that were in the dark were done very well. Wonderful filmmaking here. Uh, the use of the silhouettes, the shadows during the night scenes really made these individuals feel like specters um, rather than just people. The kind of reverse shot of the fire that we get midway towards the end, the big blazing fire and the kind of effigy, so, so cool. And then the, the scene towards the end when he gets dragged in the sand, I mean, what a perfect kind of moment that you want to see in a thriller like this. So some really expert filmmaking here um, intelligently crafted, and it hits all the emotional marks that you would want. I had a sense of uh, scope and scale that uh, really worked, especially within the short time frame. Uh, it was sort of uh, an intensity that I thought uh, was maintained really well through the, um, not just the cast, but the cinematic approach. There was a lot of really great shots of the landscape, uh, really great approaches to light and dark that I thought worked well, and a lot, and a lot of sort of uh, clear um, academic appreciation uh, for Westerns and um, how to build these type of stories that sort of have a smoldering um, undercurrent that uh, eventually leads to um, an enthralling moment. Uh, the fight by the fire, I thought, was quite intense, and I thought it had a very, almost horror movie uh, vibe towards the end that uh, was quite uh, stylish and easy um, uh, to get into. We wonder what's happening. We have these images that are playing in the in the survivor's head. A series of quick cuts of the horrors that he's seen. It seems to really be affecting his psyche. And then we see that this affects his psyche so much that he decides to kill him. Probably because he thinks that the guy helping him is going to kill him for some reason. He's still very... Um, Suffering, I'd say, from PTSD from this attack. His desperation is very clear in his performance because something we do not see in the night overtakes him and we see that he is struggling to get away from it. The pair of boots allude to the fact that this helper is maybe not dead like we once thought, but we never do get a clear answer as to what overtook the lone survivor in the night and what actually happened to the man that we think he killed. And what is the cause of all these images that this lone survivor was seeing all the time and who really is the enemy in this piece? And I think that the fact that we don't get the answers to the question is what makes this piece very interesting. A lot of the mise-en-scene, the costuming and a lot of the prop design uh, was very impressive. Um, it's always very difficult to create a timepiece because you always have to make sure that um, everything looks accurate to the times. And I think that Wretched did a phenomenal job of uh, crafting everything together to match the time frame. Uh, additionally, I it was a very tense watch uh, because you had no idea what was going to happen next. Uh, seeing as this man had just barely skirted death and you don't even know uh, who's friend or foe in this. Uh, it leads to a lot of very tense moments and I think it encapsulates that feeling of the uh, fear of the unknown. Felt really genuine and legit with the wardrobe and the landscape, the location. Um, really nice lighting in the opening. And I love the back and forth, his flashbacks to the present day, you know, present moment. Um, 
it's just a really great way to present what happened through his flashbacks. Um, perfect music, nice makeup and wardrobe, really beautiful location, like I mentioned. Um, really nice acting, I felt, and editing and great casting. I thought the cast was great. Um, I, I wrote down the line, all I can do is put them out of their misery. So obviously we're being set up to think, okay, is this guy gonna kill this guy? And that's exactly what this guy was thinking. Is he gonna kill me? And then we're kind of left hanging when he stabs the guy a lot. So we think he's dead. And then he's being dragged at one point. And then we see Boots walk up to him. We don't really know who those Boots are. I was even like, was it one of his brothers they were going to meet? Or was it the guy that we think is dead? But that's, I think, overall, it was really great and um, really well acted and, and presented. So great job.